Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Atman. In the series of economics in 4 minutes, today I am going to discuss the idea of the Keynesian cross. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, statistics, SPSS and R programming. The Keynesian cross diagram shows the equilibrium level of national income. It is also known as expenditure output model. As we know, according to Keynes, the reason for recession or depression in an economy is the lack of effective demand. Now let's understand the aggregate demand before we understand the Keynesian cross. The first component of the aggregate demand is consumption expenditure. And we know that consumption expenditure is a function of disposable income. So consumption expenditure C is equal to A plus B into YD. Here YD is the disposable income which is equal to total income minus amount of tax, which is equal to 1 minus T into Y. So therefore, consumption expenditure C is equal to A plus B into 1 minus T into Y. Second component is investment, which is exogenously fixed. So therefore, I is equal to I bar. Similarly, third component is also exogenously fixed and it is government expenditure. So G is equal to G bar. So therefore, aggregate demand AD is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure. So therefore, aggregate demand is equal to A plus B into 1 minus T Y plus I bar plus G bar. That is the aggregate demand. Now let's understand the idea of 45 degree line. The 45 degree line shows the points where level of aggregate expenditure is equal to the national income. So for any points on this line, income or output is equal to spending. Or we can say GDP is equal to aggregate expenditure. Let's understand this with the help of example. So we have GDP on X axis and aggregate expenditure on Y axis. This is the 45 degree line. Here we have aggregate demand curve that is AD. We have the equilibrium where these two lines 45 degree line and aggregate demand curve intersects each other. And at that point income is equal to spending. So E is our equilibrium point and OY is the equilibrium level of income. Deviation from the equilibrium point drives the economy towards the equilibrium through changes in the inventories. Now what do we mean by inventories? Inventories is the difference between output and sales. So to the right of the equilibrium point E, output is greater than aggregate demand or income is greater than expenditure. We can see that 45 degree line is above the aggregate demand to the right uh, of the equilibrium point E. And therefore expenditure falls short of output. So we have the accumulation of inventories and uh, that leads to reduces the output until we reach at point E. Now to the left of the equilibrium point E, output is less than aggregate demand because aggregate demand curve is above the 45 degree line. So here expenditure exceeds output. So we have the reduction in inventories which increases the output until we reach at point E. So therefore we have the equilibrium at point E only at which 45 degree line and aggregate demand curve intersects each other. The equilibrium level of income is the point of intersection of 45 degree line and aggregate demand curve and our aggregate uh, expenditure or our equilibrium level of income is OY. So this diagram is known as, known as the Keynesian cross diagram. If you find this video useful, Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel Crack Economics and Statistics and also like and share this post. Thank you.